Hey, we're in the shop of Popular Woodworking Magazine with Al Sharp this weekend, or this week, and he is uh, doing a, a Goddard Newport tea table. So we thought we'd take a look at some of the neat things we're doing. Now, the video will be out late November, so be ready for that. But right now, let's take a look at the feet, or the foot that he's been working on. Hey, Glenn, I've been, this is a, a practice piece that I've carved before launching into the full, uh, uh, the full legs. And of course, one of the unique features of, of Newport and the Goddard Towns and School uh, Ball and Claw is the pierced areas, the, the uh, air, be, area beneath the, the claw, the actual claw, and a little area beneath the, the leg at the top of the ball are pierced all the way through on this table that we're, we're building. This is an example. This is a, a table that was built by John Goddard and uh, in Newport, Rhode Island in the, in the mid, slightly past middle of the 18th century. So outside of the piercings on this, this really is a little different foot than, than what you normally see in a ball and claw. It is. It's, it's, it's much more uh, in, uh, labor intensive than, the, than a, a more generic ball and claw. Partly because of the piercing, that, that takes quite a bit more effort. But all this extra modeling that's on the back claw, for example, is, is very atypical of, of uh, most ball and claw. And even on the front, the fact that there's <clears throat> that the ball is carved clean all the way up to the bottom of the leg. There's no webbing across here. So, so you've got to finish off this detail up here. And then also, too, you have more modeling on the ankle, uh, creating the sense of the tendons rising on up the leg than on a typical uh, ball and claw as well. So altogether, it, it, in my prime, I could probably carve four uh, typical say Philadelphia style ball and claw in a day. Uh, one of these, it, it'd be more like two a day, just for the extra work involved. Well, there you have it. If you're a fan of carving, of period style work, or a fan of Al Sharp, you're gonna want the video.